cool in here. It's the night before Christmas now. Oh, we're in Santa's workshop, but all the toys are gone. They've been replaced by stacks of paper. Testing, 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 testing. Are you ready with that North, uh, North Pole to Network team yet? I hope so. Turn the page. <laughs> 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 I'm sure it's all set. Uh, satellite is locking up. Where am I? Okay. Offset satellite is locked on us. But the microphone uh, wave disk is full of this. We don't need to send back a snowy picture. Uh, okay, okay, here we go. Five seconds to air time. Two, one. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> and children of all ages. As you know, last night Santa and his reindeer dropped <laughs> nearly a billion and a half strike notices down the chimney all over the world. It seems there will be no Christmas this year. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Christmas Eve, Santa has decided to hold a press conference, and we're going to bring it to you live from the Ooh. North Pole. Ooh. Here he comes. And here he comes now. With him, our lovely Mrs. Claus, and some of Santa's chief helpers. Andrea, thank you. Tinker. Winker. Tinker. Bixby <laughs> and Katrina. And all the, all the reporters right on the stage. Hold it, hold it, ladies and gentlemen. It's clear that reporters from all over the world are here to ask Santa ask Santa questions. Let's listen. Santa, I'm Brandon from the African Times, and I'd like to know if it's true that you are refusing to deliver Christmas presents tonight. Yes, you see, so many people are asking for gifts, and so far not one person has asked me to help them give a gift to someone. Therefore, I've decided to go on strike. Christmas has been canceled. Russell here from the London Times. Do you mean there won't be any Christmas at all this year, Santa? No. No, no. There will always be a Christmas, but my reindeer and me won't be delivering any gifts. Trish <laughs> <laughs> from the Boston Globe. No gifts? But what kind of Christmas is that going to be? <laughs> You're right. No, no, no it's Mrs. Claus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope a child or two has already written that letter and mailed it. 
If we do receive one, folks, we'll let you know right away. Right, Santa? Certainly, but until then. Try, 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 What's that? My doorbell. Uh, this is going to be a sad Christmas for my reindeer and me. We do enjoy delivering gifts, but... Like her. Like her. Okay. Oh. I don't have anything. Okay. Santa, Santa, a letter. Uh, special delivery. Let's see what it says. Okay. It's a tense moment up here at the North Pole, folks. Santa is looking at a special delivery letter. It seems Santa just received it. And now he's opening it. Who is it from, Santa? A child! What was in it? What does it say? The world wants to know. Could this be the letter we've all been waiting for? What's it say, Santa? I can't believe what I see. Your glasses, Santa. <laughs> it says, Dear Santa, please give! It says, Give! This little child is asked for something for someone else. Someone was fortunate. Therefore, because of the generosity and thoughtfulness of this one little child, Christmas is on again. Yay! Yay! What about next year, Santa? Will there be a Christmas next year? Will there, Santa? <laughs> well, if I don't get more of this year's sort of letter next year, I want to at least do them. Okay, so Christmas again. But for now, can three come fix me? Get my sack ready and put the automatic electronic gift packer on high. Will do, Santa. And the rest of you, pick up the reindeer, take off his head. Thank <laughs> you. 